Good evening, folks. This is Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a grand solar minimum update on Wednesday, November 29th at 9.33 p.m. Mountain Time, 2017. Snow in Hawaii? Say what? Boom. <laughs> Mauna Kea covered in up to eight inches of unseasonal snow. Grand solar minimum much? He's having a ball. Let's go to the close-up. Boom! <laughs> yes, sirree. Hawaii has experienced an unseasonal snowstorm covering the top of Mauna Kea, the tallest volcanic mountain on the island, with up to eight inches of white snow. Although snow in the Hawaiian mountains is not as uncommon as it sounds, the timing of the snowfall is much earlier than winter! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> We all know that. Taste side on snow alert as Scotland warned of coldest winter since records began. Hmm. Can't break them better than that. This winter could be the coldest in Scotland since records began. With temperatures plunging, bookmakers have cu cut the odds on a record-breaking cold snap. Lows of minus 12 are predicted within the next few weeks with snow also on the cards. And this is all before winter. Scotland will be colder than the Arctic Circle, leading transport providers and local authorities to gear up for the big freeze. It's a heads up, Scotland. Let's go to the U.S. Another storm system will push across the western U.S. this weekend, bringing mountain snow and chillier, chillier air back into the region's interior. Boom. And when I mean that, I mean it. Boom. Guys, it's pro uh, the predictions are for a record cold December for the 48, lower 48, as well as record snow. And we'll be watching it and we'll be documenting it. Record year for moisture in the northern Nevada. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Cosmic ray flux much? Much of the northern Nevada set a record for precipitation this past water year. More than doubling the average in some years. You'll get links to all these. Let's jump over to Australia, Melbourne weather, record rainfall and flash flooding to kick off the summer. This is predicted through the cloud experiment at CERN and Spensmark. Increased cosmic ray flux in the grand solar minimum is predicted as we descend down the cosmic rays increase to levels unseen since 1700. That's a long time ago, folks. Most of that history is nonsense to begin with. You are here if you're not aware. Summer's about to get off to a dramatic start with extreme record-breaking rain bearing down on Victoria, triggering warnings of dangerous flash flooding. Guys, if you read this, it is going to be five inches in lots of places. Deluge possible. Significant severe weather... Uh, here it is, Victoria, Northwest Australia. Here are the numbers. The system will ramp up over Victoria and Western North South Wales on Friday and this Saturday with rainfalls four to eight inches expected in these areas, particularly those areas closer to the ranges. Peak falls in Northeast of Victoria could top 11.8 inches over two days. <laughs> oh my goodness. Boom. Grand solar minimum much? That's cosmic ray flux, guys. 19 killed. Thousands of homes affected as floods and landslides hit Java, Indonesia. Same thing here. 11 people have been killed. Then why does it say 19? Because this has been updated. Here's Bali. Here's a gong. Speaking of uh, boom. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Volcano warning just coming out two hours ago. A gong volcano, Indonesia. This is the issue for volcanic ash advisory. This is the current issue. Let's uh, look at this maybe bigger. Volcano warning coming from a gong. So the forecast for the next several days. Actually, this is just for tomorrow. This entire island next to Bali here is going to be covered in ash. It's a heads up if you're over there. Anyone to the west... The, the weather pattern is shifting from a south and eastern pattern, which is why the airport was allowed to open, to the west. This entire island is going to be ash-covered. And if we go over to magma, this is the seismogram live. There was a major event eight, 
One, two, ten. 20 hours ago, there was a major seismic event lasting for hours. And just one, two hours ago, we have another seismic event lasting for over 30, 40 minutes. And then weaning off after about an hour. So this is another, this, this volcano is seismically still active and erupting. It's a heads up. You'll get links to everything so you can sort all of this mayhem out yourself. The magma seismogram is back up and they must have got more bandwidth. It's kind of nice so we can actually follow it. Here's the live stream. I'll leave you links to CCTV. You could see it's still cloud covered there. This is part of the tropical depression that's in that area. You got to also imagine the amount of volcanic aerosols that are forming clouds. This is nature's chemtrailing, let's say, <laughs> or nucle miniature nuclear winter. Volcanic update for the week. New unrest was reported for two volcanoes. We've heavily been covering Agong and the great Sitkin volcano as well is waking up. There's still some new information on Popo. We'll get to it. New crater discovered at Popocatapetl volcano in Mexico. Really nice pictures coming out. There it is. 370 meters wide, 110 meters deep. I'll tell you what, that's a 400 foot fall into hell. You do not want to be there. So a new crater was discovered at Mexico's Popocatapetl volcano, and authorities expect the volcano to continue throwing new material towards the surface in the coming days. Uh, the NAIN monitor is showing increased cosmic ray flux in the magnitude of 1.5% over the last 18 hours, still rising. But the South American monitor is a little, uh, is, is moderating. There is no dome. It's considered an open system which facilitates the release of recent ash emissions. So this is an open vent. It's going to be burping for a while. The discovery revealed that in the coming days it is expected that the volcano will continue throwing new material towards the surface and that the inner crater will be gradually filled at least partially by new lava dome. So this lava dome is going to start forming here. It already has. Do you see the uh, the dark zone here? This is a hill, and this will start to build, and then this cone will start to rise up. It'll start to move up, and this 110 meters will be higher and higher. It'll spew material out here and debris. At this moment, the volcano has light emission of gas and steam towards the north and northeast. So we're keeping an eye on a gung for a large eruption. They're up, the seismic uptick is still there. This baby could still blow. So it is not safe. It's good that they were able to get people off of that island today. Big heads up to Singapore, sending charter flights in to get tens of thousands of people off of that island. And it's also very helpful that the winds have shifted. So you can see the volcanic ash is now shifting away. So all day tomorrow, people will be able to continue to leave the island. That's an amen to the people that are stuck there that all now get to go safely home as they wait for this baby to blow. Uh-oh. Must be windy there. It's shaking. <laughs> Guys, this is a... Really exciting time for earth-changing events. It's not a time to be scared. It's time to prepare. Earthquake swarm detected in Asia in Iceland's highlands this morning. This is not indicative of uh, anything about to erupt. All these are minor eruptions in the two magnitude or less, but it is in this volcanic field. There is magma shifting under Iceland. There will be a large eruption in that area. It's a heads up. There's a moderate uptick in the last... 20, uh, 12 hours of moderate earthquakes. This was almost blank 12 hours ago, and now it's been filled up at 2.5 plus magnitude. Uh, yesterday, we were having motion along the mid-ocean uh, mid ridges as well. That is of note. Largest magnitude coming out here in Peru at a 5.7. And down here in Indonesia, 5.5. It's a heads up. I will keep coming back here to t check out Bali. 
It's getting very dark over the volcano. I'll leave you links to the main monitor so you can monitor cosmic rays. Let's come to Iswa, guys. Remember the plasma filament? It's hitting us right now. Boom. And I mean it. I mean, boom. <laughs> Not really. It's a glancing blow. The predictions were correct. It's the 29th. It is now the 29th. And uh, let me show you where we're at. We're at spaceweather.com. And we can come back and I can show you what this plasma filament is doing. It's perturbing uh, the electron flux here. And the K I expect the KP to go up to 4 shortly. Uh, maybe to 5. You can see the mag magnetometer here a little perturbed. Turning the angle quite sharply. And the solar wind speed has kicked up a ramp. The density is going up. And the temperature here is a little bit off the wiggles. So, it's just a minor event, that plasma filament, and we'll watch it. This might bump up a little higher. We'll keep an eye on it. So, heads up. We're going to leave here with uh, NASA nonsense, unexpected atmospheric vortex be behavior on Saturn's moon Titan. Now, guys, if you know about our channel and you follow the Electric Universe, the standard model of cosmology is complete garbage. And for the last decade, almost every discovery that we've had in space is amazing or unexpected or, or astounding or, or what other word you want to put in there that explains the fact that the model is completely wrong. We need a new model of cosmology, and we have one in the Electric Universe. It's being unfolded through the Thunderbolts Project. I'll leave a link to it if you've never heard of it. Thunderbolts.info. <clears throat> now, this is funny. A funny, funny article coming out of the Watchers. Unexpected atmospheric vortex behavior on Saturn's moon Titan. And they're talking about a new study led by the University of Bristol Earth Sci scientists have shown that recently reported unexpected behavior on Titan. Unexpected. Oh, my goodness. The largest moon of Saturn is due to its unique atmospheric chemistry. Oh, okay. So Titan's atmospheric polar vortex seems to be extremely cold instead of warm. Now what's happening here is the exact opposite of global warming, global cooling. <laughs> and it's totally hilarious. The effect is so far unique in the solar system and is only possible because of Titan's exotic atmospheric chemistry. A similar effect could also be occurring in many exoplanet atmospheres having implications for cloud formation and atmospheric dynamics. So I think what they're starting to understand as children in science is that the universe affects our climate in the form of galactic cosmic rays. And if they just changed their model, everything would make sense. And I don't know why they're so stubborn. And those of you listening that know what I'm talking about are just as frustrated as I am. Researchers use the temperature and gas abundances measured with Cassini coupled with numerical radiative balance models of heating and cool rates to show that trace gas enrichments was large enough to cause significant cooling and extremely cold atmospheric temperatures. So it's getting colder and they thought it was getting warmer. Boom. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Share this with like-minded people. Stop the nonsense. Start preparing. We're going to have more informative videos on our greenhouses. We've had lots of progress here at the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Check out our Patreon page and get involved as a member. We're about to send out booty packages. Become one of the new members and get free booty. we got killer stickers and seeds going out in just a few days. Deuces.